everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Jordan and today I'm really excited because um, this morning I went to um, the Sephora VIB Rouge event here in Toronto. Um, basically they opened up the store early for people who are VIB Rouge, which if you don't know is like the highest tier of their like loyalty program. And um, you get like you can go in and like shop and there's like all their new holiday stuff and of course what launched just two days ago was Fenty Beauty. So um, I picked some things up and I'm going to do like um, first impressions try on today but um, first I'm just gonna show you everything I got. So um, because I spent $50 or more, I got this like really, really cute um, leather, it's vegan leather Sephora like makeup bag. The bag comes with a few samples inside. I'm not gonna go through all of them. There's a few moisturizers. Um, what else? There's a little mini Better Than Sex Mascara. There is a Fenty Beauty sample. It comes with the um, primer and uh, a sample of the foundation. Now, um, they are giving out other samples as well. I'm not really gonna go through them all. There's so many. Um, but what I bought is what's exciting. So I, I got um, shade matched um, from my Fenty Beauty foundation. Um, so this is the Pro Milter Soft Pro Milter, Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation um, by Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. So I'm really, really excited to try this. I've heard good things, um, but of course I'm going to go in unbiased and give you guys my honest thoughts. So she came out with like so many shades. I think there are 40 shades of foundation, which is crazy for a brand that's just launched and is so inspiring and inclusive. And I think all brands should take um, a look at what she's done and learn from it. So um, what else did I get? I got the um, Fenty Beauty Invisa Matte Blotting Powder, which is I think just like a setting powder. It says, instant refresh, on the go, filter effect. And then I also got the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in the shade Trophy Wife because I had to get this. It looked crazy. It's the gold one that's like super glittery and I know it's like not the most practical highlighter to wear but it just looked so amazing I had to get it. That's all I got from Fenty Beauty um, so I'm going to try out those products for you today. Um, if you're interested I also got the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye um, full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer because I've heard really good things about it so I want to try that out at some point. Um, and then, oh, I also bought the Sephora Cake and Bake Sponge. I've heard good things about that as well, so I wanted to try that. But yeah, um, other than that, there's just a whole bunch of samples. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started um, because we got this little sample with the primer in. I'm going to start by priming my face with that primer. So it says Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Um, it's smooth, it has a smooth pore diffusing finish for extended makeup wear. So of course it's like a little sample size which comes in this little like plastic packaging. If I can freaking open it. All right, so I'm just gonna take this on my fingers and apply it to my face. Okay, um, so first thoughts, it feels pretty much like a moisturizer. Um, it's making my skin feel really, really smooth. It's not too tacky. It's not like a tacky primer, really. I like the smell, not too strong. I don't think it's done anything crazy to my face, but overall it feels um, really good on my skin and I mean, I like it so far. All right, so um, if you're wondering, I got the shade 230 in foundation. Um, I'm hoping this is okay. Um, I did get a girl to like shade match me. Um, usually I shade match myself, um, but it was like really busy and crowded, so uh, I couldn't really get in there and some of like the shades were missing, so the girl did it for me. So we'll see how it looks. Um, 
So taking it out of the packaging, it looks like this. It's like a nice matte glass bottle. It's quite heavy. It feels really nice in the hand. Um, it says it's 1.08 fluid ounces, which is pretty standard for foundation. Um, usually foundations are like about one ounce. So I'm just going to shake it and I'm going to do half my face with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and then half my face with a brush. Um, lately I've been loving this um, flat top brush by Juvia's Place to apply my foundation so I'm going to do um, this side of my face with the brush and then this side with the sponge. Alright, so I'm just going to pump some onto my hand. like that much and start applying it. this side um, I really like it it's like a medium coverage I think um, but of course it could be buildable um, it looks I think really good it looks really like skin like it doesn't feel heavy at all um, and I would say this is like the perfect shade match for me so I'm really happy about that um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side with my brush I definitely needed less product on this side than I did on this side because as we all know um, these sponges do tend to soak up a bit of product so um, I do have some foundation left on my hand from this side because I didn't need all of it um, so I'm just gonna take that and kind of cover um, my more problem areas just to make sure they have like that extra coverage So um, this is my face with the foundation on, so this is the sponge side, and this is the brush. I think I liked applying it better with the brush. I felt that it was more, it was faster, there was um, a bit more coverage, and it was easier to apply, but I mean, you can do it either way. I mean, of course, it blended out beautifully both ways. Um, but yeah, I think I would use a brush for this. Now I know that Fenty Beauty does have a specific brush. I didn't buy it, but um, I just wanted to let you guys know that there is a brush you can buy that they specifically made for this foundation. Okay, so um, my initial thoughts is that I really, I, I'm like in love with this foundation. It is so like, it doesn't feel like cakey or like I have a lot of them on my face, but it gave really, really good coverage. Um, definitely like a medium full coverage. So more fuller coverage with the brush than with the sponge. Um, 
but again it's totally buildable um it really does have like a kind of blurring effect my fine lines aren't as visible and i think it just overall looks really really nice and i mean the shade range guys shade range was amazing and i think i got matched really well so um yeah i really really love this foundation um I'm gonna go ahead and apply some concealer. Um, my, I'm just gonna use um, my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer for this because um, it's the one I normally use and we'll see how it um, blends into the foundation. No problems at all um, with the concealer there's no weird um, like reactions sometimes when you apply things over top a certain foundation I don't know like the ingredients inside they don't mesh well together and it could end up like lifting the product underneath or just not blending nicely together so um, that's why I wanted to test my concealer on top of it um, but it looks really really fabulous I don't know like this looks so good. I am astounded. Like, and it feels so good. Like, it just feels like skin. Guys, like, I feel like this, like, set itself. Like, it doesn't even need powder. It doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't feel heavy. It, but my skin looks, like, flawless. This is, like, my new favorite foundation. Like, I'm not even joking. This looks so good. And I'm, I'm shook. Like, I'm actually shook. So um, now I'm going to try the Fenty Beauty Invisimat Blotting Powder to set my face. So it looks like this. Um, it has like a little indent here because you can buy a brush that actually like magnetically clicks into here, which I think is really cool. But again, I didn't buy the brushes. Um, so you open it. It looks like this. It has a nice mirror. Um, it comes with this little like um pad thing i guess it's like leatherish on top and then on the bottom it's like a little um like blotting pad i guess oh that'd be perfect for on the go because you could just like take this in the powder and then just blot the areas you need blotted awesome okay um i am going to apply this with a brush um this is another Juvia's Place brush. It's just the brush I like using for like powder under my eyes and stuff. All right, so I'm just gonna dip in and go for it. Um, and I forgot to note that there is, um, this is the only shade. This is just like um, a translucent shade, so it's for any skin tone. So, it feels really lightweight. Alright, so I mainly just set the areas that I put concealer on because, like I said, the foundation doesn't need to be set that much. Um, I did just put like a light layer over. I'm definitely kind of getting that like blurring effect. Um, and I really like this because... Sometimes when you put powders on, it can get really cakey and start to look heavy on your face, but this actually doesn't do that. Um, it really just set it really nicely and did, like, like it said, like a filter effect. It's mattifying. It's really pretty. And I'm not creasing or anything. Um, overall, this looks really good um i'm very pleased with it and i think it's really cute and definitely something that i would take with me on the go with this little um pad thing and use like if i'm getting oily or something you could just dip it in and blot 
Okay, so I just quickly applied some contour and my brows because my face feels so lonely without it. And now for the best part, um, the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter. I'm so excited to try this. Okay, so I got the shade Trophy Wife once again, which is the really bright gold shade. Let me get it out of the packaging. Open! Okay, so it looks like this, this nice like honeycomb shape, and says Trophy Wife on the back. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Look at it. I'm so excited. So let me just quickly finger swatch this for you. It is absolutely crazy. Look at that. Look at it. And then I'll just put some like on my hand. Oh, it is so pretty. And this can, of course, be used as like an eyeshadow as well. Now I'm gonna take some on my Morphe 510 brush. I mean, yeah, my Morphe M510 brush, which is my favorite highlighting brush. And we're gonna see what this looks like on the skin. Obviously, it's kind of a different shade, so it's gonna look a little bit strange, I think, but we'll see. Oh my god, it's so pigmented. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. That was literally like one dip into this. Wow. You guys, this is so glittery and beautiful. Obviously not like an everyday highlighter, <laughs> um, but this is seriously so pretty. It'd also be really nice like on darker skin tones and like for even like body highlighting. Um, it's just so like pretty and like reflective and glittery. Oh my God. gonna do some like in my inner corner and on my brow bone because I really really <laughs> I'm obsessed with it oh my goodness Okay, so my final thoughts um, of the four products I tried, which was the primer, the foundation, the highlighter, and the um, powder. Okay, so first the primer. Um, I really liked it. It was really like moisturizing. It felt really nice on the skin. Um, I would consider buying it um, like maybe if I actually like, need a primer or run it out, but it's not something that I'm going to like run to the store for now because I loved it so much. Um, it wasn't like super amazing and super special, but like I really did. I did like it a lot, but like I don't need a primer right now. So um, yeah, if you need a primer, I would definitely recommend trying it. It's... Um, it's, it feels really good on the skin, it feels really moisturizing, and it definitely makes your makeup go on really nicely. So, um, number two, the foundation. Obviously, you have have watched this video and watched me rave about it. Um, I really, really, really love the foundation. Um, definitely recommend, definitely a must-have. Like, if you're gonna buy something, I think, um, from Fenty Beauty, I think it would be... The foundation that you want to try. Um, next, the powder. Obviously, I love the powder. Um, it was really good. It had a really nice blurring effect, and I think it's perfect for like on the go if you want to like touch up and you want to like blot, like um, to control your oil. So I really like the powder. Really like the foundation. Um, and <laughs> obviously, the highlighter is a little crazy, um, but I just I really wanted this color. They have a bunch of other colors which are like more normal and more everyday highlighting 
um, like shades but I just really wanted to try this one because it was so intense and so crazy um, so that's why I got this one and let me tell you it looks so like reflective and I'm just in love with it. So yeah, I think that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.